Now that you know how to modify records or objects in Elm using immutable data style ways of doing things, we can change the model to a new value. Now, one thing you could do is a very draconian way. Let's go ahead and exit out of the REPL here. You could just return a brand new object with the value of, I don't know, let's say 70. And then if we go over to Reactor and reload, Elm Reactor, and hit Add, you can see we changed it to 70. That's one way. But what if we add additional values to this model? A very common pattern you'll see is that the model will have a bunch of properties. So if you're very familiar with Redux, which is used mostly in React for React applications, and a lot of people use Redux in like games and other apps that don't have React, for example. But Redux has the same thing where you have this single object that has a bunch of properties and eventually grows to a tree of objects and a tree of properties. And you only change, you know, basically leaves or simple values of those children objects. And so Elm's the same way. It kind of starts like this, but eventually you grow to have many properties and then those properties in turn have objects. And so a very common thing to do is instead to go like this. You say model and then set a new value for a particular property. So this is the more accepted common pattern you'll see a lot. So if we hit save and reload, it does the same thing, but the point is, is that it's modifying just the value property in the record. Now, our model only has 52, and that's okay. We could add other things like, I don't know, first name equals Jeffrey, reload, and it doesn't change the first name of Jesse, but it will change the model to 70 at every other point. And so that way you can encourage that. Whereas if we remove this Jesse, and then went back the other way, it would literally destroy the other data if we created brand new data. And plus the type is different from the return value, so it won't even compile anymore either. So that's why we kind of leave it like this and say that way you have the flexibility to add whatever you want and you're only changing what this particular method can actually do.